one of the best ways to care in our community is through advocacy. Because one of the first things that people lose is their voice. The poor who have no voice because they have been oppressed, they have been excluded, they have been marginalized, they have been stripped of their rights. And the leaders may not hear them because leadership today does not allow vulnerability. Leadership emphasizes today your power and your capacity. And I think the most important thing for leadership is the capacity to feel, to feel the pain of others. And this is only possible when we are vulnerable ourselves, when we are not afraid to feel. And then we can see the pain of others and will be able to speak for them when they are not there because they have been excluded. We can bring them to the table. We can become their voice through our advocacy. I think today, women are going to get to leadership because women are more open to being vulnerable. And in that way, we can bring many people to the table so that they too can have their voice. They can find their voice. One of the things that make people most vulnerable is when they have to run from their homes because of violence, violence caused by ethno-religious conflict. And many times they run, they don't even know where they are running to. So our community receive them, making them feel you are okay, you are welcome, you are safe with us. And it is a great power for them because they see for once humanity when they were already losing the humanity. They come, it does not matter whether they are Christian or they are Muslim, whether they are rich or they are poor, because when people run, Everybody becomes poor. Everybody is in need. So with us, we provide them with the basic things they need. A shelter, sometimes not a wonderful shelter because the numbers are great. But more importantly, we give them the humanity that kind of has disillusioned them. We listen to them and... On some occasions, as they cry, we allow ourselves to cry with them for what they have lost. Persons dear to them, their home, their place of uh, origin. In the case of northern Nigeria, people who have had to leave their home state and look for shelter in the cities, they've lost their land. They have lost their citizenship because many times they run without their documents. We have to work with them to get new documents, to feel belonging again. And it's a journey that takes a long time. I once saw children that when their father said, let us go home, they started crying. Because the memory of how they left home has not left them. So we make them feel at home with us. And when policymakers are speaking, not knowing what it means to have lost your home, we speak on their behalf. And that for us is advocacy, to be their voice and let their voice matter and let it be taken into account when decisions are taken. Thank you. <music>